It's a gorgeous day in North Vancouver. And we are going to talk about Reaper. So I got a couple of questions about how I'd set up Air Studios Reverb uh, for this piece from the fan that I just released on YouTube. And I'm still getting to know it. But the way my template was set up, it was pretty easy to copy some group buses and some effects channels and just create a, a quick test with Air Studios on the on the sand. Um, as an example, I have here all the cellos in the world, a lot of these from the Hans Zimmer string library that are grouped to a strings long cello bus, essentially. And I have Q sands, uh, not Q sands, I have sends from there that are going to reverb. I have a couple of sends actually. I have a, a reverb send and I have a parallel compression send and maybe I'll go over through all of this in a template video sometime. But the effect send I set up with whole layout B. And then what I mucked around with a little bit was how much of the close and tree signals did I want in each of my instruments. So, for example, here in the 60 cellos, 60 cellos, that's nuts. Uh, I turned on just the tree mics. Um, the reason I did that is because I remember this piece of music being very kind of dreamy, very sort of distant, as if the cellos were playing up in the galleries in a way. Um, it's kind of a sound that the Batman soundtrack has too. Anyway, so I turned on the tree, but knowing that I was using the tree mics from the strings, I didn't feel the need to use the tree mics in the reverb, so I turned that off. You can do that over here. I can have it on or I can have it off. So I'm already getting the tree sound from the cellos itself, but I'm using all the other microphones that are part of this default preset for a whole layout B, see it up here, um, to get the tail of the room. And I did that with every instrument here. That's how I set this up. But it's not necessarily the right way to set this up. And as I said, I'm still figuring out this this uh, reverb. But it kind of works. So just to reiterate. I have the tree mics from the VST instrument enabled. But I am turning off the tree in the room, in the reverb. And just using the outriggers, the ambient mics, and the gallery mics from Zimmer's whole layout B configuration to get the overall sound. And I'm using the same thing for all of the other instruments here. So in uh, the Spitfire library, I'm doing the same thing. You can see I've only got the tree enabled, the tree mics enabled. Post mics are off, the ambient mics, the outriggers, the lead mics, they're all off. I'm bussing those to the same group of cellos, and that cello group has an effect send to the reverb, where the tree mics are turned off. The sum of those parts make what you're hearing now. Of note, where is my reverb here it is there is a pretty standard 
uh, what's called the Abbey Road EQ curve that pulls down the low end and a little bit of the top end before going into the reverb. I didn't do that in here, but I may change that in a future template. To be honest with you, this reverb that's out now is really making me rethink how I'm structuring the template in general and the busing of things, the flow of things. But we'll get to that to another time. I hope this is helpful. Give it a try. Let me know your thoughts. I will probably do more template-centric stuff at another time. Cheers for now.